Lawrence had a pretty good game on Thursday. Nice play going inside and Johnson able to score. The steal by Christensen. Got Nelson back and Nelson able to score on the layup. Well, great year with the median coaches. Nice pass inside the court. Jackson. Jackson checking in for the first time. Able oh, then the offensive foul. Getting it inside, able to score was Bob Starr. This is turned over. Brooke Jackson with three Aggies back. It's the slot back to Jackson. You got to love the teamwork that time by Utah State. Well, it's been unselfish basketball. And Jen Here's Schlott. Played pretty well on Thursday against La Tech. Goes all the way, able to finish. And that's what she does. To get points like they did earlier. Jackson's first miss in two games, but plunk it right there with the offensive rebound and the putback. Gives it up to Jackson, and Jackson oh, scores inside again. Look, Jackson, the transfer. Rudin turns it over, gives it right to Jackson. There's Ashley Brown, who's been quiet. Chance now for a three-point play. That's a great exit. The radio voice of New Mexico State. Here's Plunkett for three, and she's got it. That is her strength. Maddie Plunkett from... Fortunately lost it out of bounds, but once again, offensive rebounds. Brown with a look away pass, and Plunkett scores. And getting inside, here's Wampler able to score. Good setup is Tabitha. Brown inside. Boy, another nice pass to Brown. Johnson able to score. Boy, Ashley Brown basketball. Yep. Out of bounds, it'll be Utah State basketball. Back outside to Maddie for three, and she's hit another one. Tough contested shot. Brown will get another assist. This is a tough place to play. Outlet here is Devin Christensen scores. I mentioned Christensen. She can get it. Back at the next dead ball. Wood with a drive was rejected by Jock. Yeah. Hit slot with it. Goes all the way. Now gives it up to Christensen and a chance for a three-point play. And that might be the emotional play that the Utah State Aggies are looking for. Starts with a big block by Bonajop. What a block. There's the coach. Here's Christensen. Off window and it's good. I thought that was a great decision by Devin. Now Brooke Jackson got on her horse. Dangerous pass. Goes all the way then and it knocked away. Shot clock now under 10. Bucket inside to Johnson. What a nice pass by Matt. Well, I think it was just a team effort. I mean, in the first half, Wolf, we got out rebounded. And that's what we focused on on the second half is rebounding and just coming together as a team to get that win. Mm -hmm. I think our second half, you know, was way better than the, the first half. And I wouldn't say that it's a tale of two halves, but there was just a more um, concentrated focus on specific areas, um, especially the rebounding, uh, shoring up some things there. And, and you know, I, I feel like uh, we also took more pride in our second half defense. Um, and I don't mean just compared to the first half, but I mean game to game. We I think because they were switching that it let us read um, where to cut and how to cut and kind of reading the defense in a certain way instead of always, all right, we're going to attack and then get a score off myself. Mm -hmm. We're getting kicks instead. And I felt like we had to like work really hard to get it in there. And um, considering all the O boards they had in the first half, that is, uh, that is a testament to some of our bigs. Um, I'm gonna check on you know, and Ashley, I, nobody really knew it other than our team, but she was suffering a severe migraine before the game where she couldn't even really see and it was uh it was we didn't think she was going to play and then it was a game time decision and i let her choose in the first half or five minutes before tip and then we subbed her a lot in the first half just to kind of see where she was at and so i loved how she just really dug down deep and then her teammates were ready to back her up you know they with ash not feeling very good and those who have suffered migraines like that's like not like being nauseous that's to be in a game where there's whistles and screaming and the lights that's tremendous but and then Devin shooting you know having a tough shooting night seeing our team be able to produce a win I'm proud of them